Keep an auction is pretty okay, especially later you can get larger tanks. All right, well, we don't want to have no challenge, right? So we'll go open shift, but drain enable. Let's, let's go with that. First time playing, so no idea what to expect. Uh, if drain is enabled, you need to keep going back to your base to refill your tank. That's that's fair, though, isn't it? Humankind has industrialized much of the solar system. Earth has a deteriorated in a place of squalor and decay in orbit. A new breed of worker has emerged, the ship breaker. Labor is extremely dangerous, but for the select few, the hazard pay is worth the risk. Five years, Pollock. Thank you very much. Happy anniversary. Enjoy that lovely new badge. Okay. What the heck is this? Thanks, Corporation Recruitment Services. Update on your application status. Let me turn the volume down. That seems a bit loud. Uh, greetings, citizen. Congratulations for accepting to Lynx Corporation's pioneering Pave the Wave Galaxy program. You're assigned to Salvage Station 42. Demonstrate the ability to, to build and grow a profitable operation. A number of exciting opportunities await you. Remember, employment in this program is at the sole discretion of Lynx Corporation. Acts of malice or insubordination will not be tolerated. Once signed the form, you please proceed to the nearest Lynx Corporation shuttle hub. Okay. Account name. Require an account name. Please enter profanity or anti-corporate slang jargon is not accepted. <laughs> okay. Selected revival package. We're proud to offer our ever work asset replacement program to new employees. Below are the details of your selected spare package. Open shift. Unlimited spares. Spare fee. 150,000 credits. Not really sure what that means, but okay. Uh, Belly Ron, thank you for eight months. So, account name is like our own personal commander name, is it? Or whatever we want to call ourselves. Name has no place or use in the game. <laughs> Brilliant. Whatever. Hang on, let's do it properly. Whatever. In it. Bro. Sounds good to me. Next. <laughs> voice ID. Verify the voice file you submitted in your original application. Okay. That's some strange noises they're making. So apparently we submitted some voice files in our application. So we applied for this job and submitted these noises. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, I'd like a job. <laughs> S-Man, how you doing? I'll go with that one. Orientation preference. Standard uh, personal ability. Proper settings may improve productivity by up to 40%. Well, I'm going to go standard. I don't like the sound of inverted. Meal preference. Our food processor serve a variety of diet preferences. Chicken, plastic-free, vegetarian, or entomotarian. Chicken. Oh, you got to choose one. Chicken. Please agree, I have no criminal record. Uh-huh. I'm not a member of and never associated with workers' union or other labor interest. I've completed my annual medical. No commercial or real estate interest on Luna. I will bring positive attitude and problem-solving mindset to work every day. Who could possibly be asked to sign up to that? Like, these are like a statement of fact. This, your attitude, okay. I understand and accept the health risks associated long-term exposure, you might die. I will vote for Chancellor... Wow. Wow. That's not even legal. As part of your employment contract, you will vote for the Senate. What? This is the dodgiest contract ever. 
Terms and conditions. Representative is undefined. I love it. I bet if you read through this, there's some like little Easter eggs in there. Hmm. <laughs> youngster, thank you for six years, sir. Happy anniversary, youngster. Or young star, I should say. The top of the top. Like 15 months. Skip training, no. Certify. Old thumb on scanner. Right, let's do it. Maybe we'll get some settings at some point. And then I can move the uh, overlay around. Uh oh. DMCA time. Rip. It's alright, we had no choice for audio anyway, so. Space, the final frontier. Each day he steps into the yard. What? To earn his wages working hard. <laughs> Above. Jesse Juice, thank you for 32 months. To return my daddy to those he loves. I hope so, Poe Jesse. There comes a time when he and death meet. Bless the next cutter that takes his seat. Interesting stuff. doing this as a job just floating above a planet breaking things apart why can't I see the camera in the reflection eh who's holding the camera <laughs> Dutch TS thank you for three years another happy anniversary hello cutter 9346-52 your automated Lynx onboarding experience will now begin. Please observe this important message. Space. Boundless promise. Limitless resources. A brighter future. It's here where hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation Salvage Division. When my great-great-grandfather, Exeter, founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the rail gates. Now spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates <laughs> to join the Lynx family. This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity to be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company in human history. Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard, feed your superiors, believe in the Lynx vision. Do this. And you too will get your chance. Your first step is to join our Ever Work program, the greatest gift we give our employees, turning death into an ongoing opportunity what? for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. Good luck. Cool. Death is a fresh start. Thank you, Poet, for looking that up. Thank you, Tom, for the Games Planet link. Bob's thank you, 29 months. Death is a fresh start. Yes, I want a fresh start. Video observation. 
mission complete. To finalize onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Lynx Everwork Asset Replacement Program. Don't worry, pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. Please note, as outlined in Section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. Beginning extraction now. Oh, let's take a hair sample. Please remain seated while we while we kill you. Because death is a fresh start. Game room, thank you for eleven months. Genetic sequence stored. Congratulations, it is now safe to die. Asterisk. Shipbreakers are responsible for the cost of biomaterials used in the Everwork process. An additional fee is required for deaths that occur outside of working hours. <laughs> what? You may now proceed with salvage. Oh my god. We had to kill you to get your DNA. What the? Lifeguard backup storage. That's a lot of zeros. Account balance. Oh my god. That's almost what it was like when I was at uni. Hold thumb to scanner to confirm. <laughs> As if. As if. Well, mm, yeah. Anybody want to verify that? <laughs> Administration fee, $500. So you sign up to work for this company and you start off like 1.1 trillion in debt. I think I'll just stay on the planet poor. All right, all right. Breathe, breathe. You're okay. Everything's going to be just fine. There you go. Plenty of folks feel a bit woozy with the first pair. Hey, anyway, welcome aboard. Oh. The name's Weaver. What I'm the? a foreman for yourself and a couple of other shipbreakers in this region. This year's Morgan Station. She may not look like much right now, but once we boot her up, she'll purr like a kitten. All right, let's test out your orientation control. Do me a favor and look up at that cargo elevator up above. Well, the one I'm looking at. That's it. So that's where all the salvage gets collected to be picked up by the transfer crew. Just in case you ever turn yourself out of whack, use your roll thrusters to reorient. There you go. Lovely. All right. Now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls now. Try moving around. W A S T. These thrusters are not very good. Now vertical control. Space and C. Is this thing easier on keyboard and mouse or like a controller? Wait, I'm slowing down. Used to be a cutter myself, you know. Till there were some uh, complications with my last revive. Those are early days in the tech, though, so never you mind about that. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing. Brakes. Get yourself going at a decent clip, and then test them out, why don't you? What, by doing... Oh, Control R, Q, and E to brake. Hang on.
If I blast forward and then do control. All right. Huh. Looks like the bay here was left in a bit of a mess. We're going to clean this crap up. I'm going to activate the furnaces. Now. Dang thing. Would you just. Um. <laughs> I'll just there step back. There you go. So these furnaces are used to melt down soft metals. Should go without saying. These things are hot as all get out. So, try not to drift into them by accident. Okay. Yeah. Let's get a handle on your grapple tool. This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. This is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object and move it around. If it's not too heavy. Give it a go. And move one of these pieces into either furnace. So, when you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object to you. If it's heavier than you, it'll pull you towards it. Damn that Newton. Check out your HUD when you've got an object grapple. Ouch. <laughs> Push an object with F. Okay, so I'll just do that and press F. Well, that seemed to do something. Nice job cleaning up that soft metal scrap cutter. Huh. Let's move on to the bigger nanocarbon chunks now, shall we? You may have already noticed that these are too heavy to move with your grapple. I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. Toggle scanner. This mode of your scanner lets you assess an object structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. All right. Controls give me the go ahead to get you cutting. Uh, view cut points to scan mode. I just did. No. That. Is that not? You got quick access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up your tool selector and choose the cutting tool. I to open up the tool menu. Cutter, grapple. Cut the cutter. The cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. It's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. You ready to perform some zero G surgery cutter? Let's do it. Let's split this scrap so it's light enough to move. Our range, right? Our range. That's how you do it. Okay. Let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. Uh, do me a favor. Look on over at one of them there. Yeah, so I can see if they activate, right? Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Me and technology ain't always the best of friends. Hey, all right. We're in business. Now swap over to your grapple and toss one of those pieces you separated right in there. So this is going to be quite heavy, isn't it? 1,400 kilos. So what's the best way of moving this around? Do I just push it? Like that? Just give it a nudge? I don't know. FPS seems low. No. I'm getting 180 FPS. <laughs> It's not low. Try switching uh, like resolution or something. Is that you, like what do you do with this? Just press it and then press F or something. What do you want me to do? Just hit F to push. No, no. Oh, right. Okay. There you go. 
shoot it in. Salvage panel, nano carbon. Open tool menu. What does it want me to get? Well, okay. We're almost done getting this bay in shape. Let's go after that large aluminum chunk over there. Now, this beast is way too heavy to move as is. It's also too dense for your stinger to break it down. And there are no structural cut points for us to take advantage of. We're going to have to switch over to the split saw mode of your cutting tool and start slicing this thing down to size. Go ahead and switch cut modes now. Open tool menu, equip cutter, done that. V2, swap tool mode. Now try changing the angle of the cut. Unlock the trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm gonna turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work there is left to do. This thing will track how much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, let's try and hit that first goal marker. And that's what it's all about, Cutter. The more salvage goals you complete, the closer you'll get to hitting your certifications and ranking up. Okay. Reach salvage goal one. Does it want this in the furnace then, or in that thing? Can we just punch into the furnace? Or is it still too big, maybe? So it thinks about that. It tells you when you're aiming it, whether it's the furnace or the processor. Metals goes to the furnace. What is it? What is it say? Oh. Okay. Great first shift in the yard, Cutter. Let's head on over to your hab, and I'll show you the ropes there. No, I want money for that as well. Back to the master jack. I'll put a marker on it so you can find it easy. When you get there, head on in, and we'll get started. I've just been conned. <laughs> I've just been conned. Uh, if you look at a piece, it'll say... Yeah, I saw that bit. Uh, right, where are we going? Where are we going? Over here somewhere. Can I change any options? Controls... Button mapping. No, it does support controller. You use it control this control Q as a break is weird. Oh, you can use the arrow keys as well. It's control or Q and E together. Thing is, I just pressed the control key and it just stopped. I didn't have to press Q or E. What I'm saying is, I didn't touch QRE. I literally just pressed the control key. Also, controls. Why can you not remap the R key to something else? In that radial menu. I'd rather have that on tab. Let's go and spend it again. She's gone out with a friend somewhere. Zinam, thank you for 65. Wheelman, thank you for 8.
Hey, Smith. Thank you for 71. Right. Salvage, 99.1%. Half a million dollars. That won't take long to pay off that 1.1 trillion. We've, we've leveled up, guys. Bob! Thank you for 10 subs, Bob. Thank you for the score gifts. Welcome, guys. If you got a sub, give Bob 7143 a big thank you. 10 subs gifted. I think I can probably move me and the chat. I'm thinking... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I may be able to go here. And... Maybe the chat can go there. We'll see how we get on. Thanks, Bob. And shift. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Kitchen, turn around. Employee terminal, receive call. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. That's everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. Around here, we just call it your hab. Now, how's about you get yourself some rest? We'll pick up your training in the morning. What do you mean in the morning? There, There's no such thing as morning in space. <laughs> What's that mean? Cutter 9346-52. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. How long is a day? Wake up. Access your employee terminal. Oh, I see. Yeah, I did wonder, D uh, DS, if it was a bit... It did feel a bit sloppy, but yeah, like you say, it could be upgrades. Uh, what's this? Certification. I can't click on any of them. Good morning, shipbreak reminder. Minimum payments are due by 10 a.m. Wait, what? Is this my loan interest or something? Oh, my God. Rise and shine, Cutter. Hope you feel well rested. Ready to continue oh. your training? Okay. Let's have a look at your employee terminal. No, I want a now, coffee. Let's get caught up on career progression and certification. No. I've sent you a message with an explanation. Go on and give it a read. No. I want to make a coffee or some chicken sandwich or something. Let me click this. Of that one. You will do this. Clear as mud? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the process. Soon enough, I'm going to introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Most of them are willing to help you out, too. All right. Let's start a new ship and pick your first ship to work on. So you can go from rank 1 to rank 30. It's advised to view the certification tab in your hab terminal as a guide to gain access to more tools, upgrade ships, and hazard levels. Prove yourself as loyal to a skilled employee. Give you more challenges, right? Uh, scanner structure mode. Uh, Pre-install spectrum scanner. Allows you to... Uh, as it lets you assess the structural makeup of a ship. Okay. It showed it all this already, didn't it?
The cost sharing is handled through our innovative employee financial relief program. This program covers all essential onboarding costs and fees, including the cost of training and equipment. It kind of sounds like what they do with pilots, you know, where they, they put them on a training course, but they have like a hundred grand debt. It returns your skills and expertise grow. The value that you earn as a shipbreaker will be automatically deducted from the amount you owe to the financial relief program. Right. Salvage goals are incentive that rewards overall progress, yielding additional rewards when reached. Okay. So bonuses, basically. New ship, macro light cargo and station hopper. The Kleinco Mackerel is the most common ship in the colonies. Light cargo is used for civilian cargo and can be contain a wide variety of objects. Spares and you. Something about spares. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Uh, read that already. Okay, so what are we meant to be doing? Certification. <laughs> we are level two. So that requires 60 points to get, and we have. Hang on, what? Oh, we did five. Now we've got to do another 19 to level up. Got you. Enter the ship catalog. Is that the equipment room or in here? Starship, no, suits, living space, workstation? Where's the ship catalog? Why did that feel like it was... Dynamic light shadows. Graphics quality low. The heck? That's some weird defaults. Uh, hold C, start shift. There it is, start shift. It's a shift option. Oh, we literally just need to start the shift to enter the ship catalog. So I don't have to go on the computer and pick a ship catalogue. Weird. Is there anything else we need to do before we go? Kitchen, bed, equipment room, body terminal, bed, all that. Okay, start the shift then. Shows which ships you have access to. Each morning, you can choose to continue working on the ship you got or start a fresh one. Go ahead and claim one, and we'll get to work. So you got the mackerel. 24,000 tons. 2.5 million value. They're all much of a muchness on them. Literally two kinds of ship. Okay, we'll go with that one then. <laughs> Squirrels offline. Rip. Okay, reach all yours, Cutter. Your primary goal is to reach rank three. Now try to remember, nanocarbon goes in the processor, aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We call it using the whole buffalo. <laughs> You'll hit your certs faster that way and start knocking out that debt of yours. I'll be observing and giving you any help if you need it. Good luck, Cutter. We were out. All right, so if I press, oh my God. So, okay, what's the, what's the best way of approaching this? Just start pulling bits off it or cutting bits off it or what? The 
there's cabins inside so you've got a lot of blue stuff a lot of red stuff do it your way <laughs> i like it all right so there's no way we can pull that I could see some stuff underneath, some cut points, but I can't get at them yet. Yeah, I could see the cut points here, the yellow things, but how do we get the panels off? Can I point out one useful thing that I'm explaining? Sure. Oh, you sort of cut it from the inside out. Is that the airlock? Is that the thruster? Or was that an airlock? Oh, there you go. Hang on, where's this oxygen thing that we have to be worried about? We're looking at something you can grapple, the bar on the right. We're looking at something you can grapple. The bar to the right of the weight is whether you can pull off. Right, red means it'll pull. It'll pull you left. The cut point means you can pull. Excuse me, but no resistance. So like that there. That bar is about a quarter of the way down that red thing. Is that what you mean? I know these ships look intimidating to scrap at first. But trust me, soon enough, you'll be stripping the huge gecko glass freighters like nothing. Got my star salvaging back down Earth side. In a droid scrap of this. <laughs> you know what made me come up here? <laughs> One day, we got a batch of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They're always too expensive to manufacture. Seems someone found a warehouse full of them. Mothball for, oh, 20 years or so. Since the AI ban took effect, probably bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things looked exactly like my stepbrother Jed. He even had the same slack jawed expression. What is he banging on about? Now, Jed and I wasn't exactly pals or nothing, but all the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked into getting on with Lynx. I tell you what, it's a sight better to cut up something that doesn't look like a family relation. <laughs> anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. Holler if there's anything giving you grief up there, Cutter. We were out. That's not actually cutting them, is it? How can you tell when it's finished cutting? You get like a weird double line underneath, don't you? Oh, there goes the roof. We did a thing. Can you push that? Oh, stop, stop. Stay, that's it. Yeah, we got lit off. Right, so they they go in the blue thing, don't they? Because they're that one. So looking at this, that little bar is inside the yellow. Does that mean 
So if, it, if it's inside the... I can't, point, I can't point at it. Just below where it says processor, it's got that bar. And it's got like a yellow block. And then the line is inside the yellow block. That means it will come to me. Is that right? Yeah, so if I try and pull that. That's not really moving, is it? Okay, still not entirely clear. Do you reckon that's enough? Got some credits. <laughs> well, we got the roof off. Okay, let's have a look around. There's some more cut points here. Broke, or broke that bit off, I'm not sure. How do we get the roof off? How do we get behind that panel there? Because there's, there's, like, there's a cut point there, isn't there? So how do you get it there? You can also hold things with Z and X. <laughs> the game literally never taught me this. It never mentioned the whole Spider-Man mode. What the? Can I pull that off there? So that won't pull off. Okay, so I see we broke that piece away. Cut it with the saw. What, the whole ship? Above cut range. How do you know the inside's cuttable? Okay, that just did a thing. So, all of that's for the blue thing. Nope, some of it's for, yeah. I think all of that's for there, isn't it? Aluminium's cuttable. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transferred. It's kind of weird the way... I'm not really getting it right now, as in the glass needs to go on the furnace. But how can you cut the glass out without cutting the rest of the ship out? You lost 35k credits because of glass. Yeah, I, I, it's not really uh, sinking in yet. Cut out.
What does that mean? What was that beeping? Oh, cut a temperature. I thought it was like an oxygen thing. Hang on, can I nudge you out now? Uh, can you use the laser cuts to cut around the edge of the glass? I don't know. Is all of this... Nanocarbon... Is all this for the processor? Looks like it. Can I pull it? If you look at the cut level boxes, your laser will only ever be able to cut level one materials. Okay. Yeah, nah. <laughs> no one can hear pups laugh in space. Hey, Buzz, thank you for eight seven months. Four duvets, thank you for 38. Aussie train man, thank you for 15. Right, so that... Did I get any dedu deductions then or not? So what if we just, like... What if we just cut the front off so we can get inside? Maybe. Like, get that, then do that, and then kind of do that. Oh, something like that. Above cut grade. Oh. So I cannot cut the material... I can cut the glass though. But I can't cut. Oh, I can cut that. Apparently. Panel aluminium. 653 credits lost or something? I can get in there now, ish. Right, so, what's this made up of? Is that just all processor stuff, nanocarbons? Just chuck it in there, I guess. Uh, you don't have to use needle mode for cut points, but you have to be careful in storm mode. I mean, I'm just figuring this thing out, right? Can I pull that out of the way a little bit? There we go. You can also confirm composition with your scanner. What's that's all blue? Are you... That's a scumbag. Is that going to take that? There we go. Yeah, so if it's all blue, I can chuck it in the blue thing, can't I? Is that going to come?
get in. Once it's beyond the stripes, it'll vacuum it slowly. Gotcha. So that'll definitely go in. Woo! Salvage goal one reached. What's that? Is that a thing? Do we worry about this? Little circuit board? It's not even displaying. What is that? Uh, Capac, thank you for 70 months. Right, where's the cut points? Actually, this is unattached. Right, so why is this piece not moving? There's no... It's not welded on with the cut point, is it? If you look at it... Is it best to just slice through that or something? Oh yeah, I forgot about that pug. That that L-shaped piece on the right, I can't get that away from there. I can't see an obvious way of doing it. You reckon that'll push? Yeah, I can't cut it, so how do I move it? Will that move? Oh, it will move. It looked like it was attached. That's a goal. It's got to be a goal. Valuable object accepted for processing. Okay, what have we got left? Looks like we've got cut points on the engine. Like here. into the blue zone. The white zone is for loading and unloading. <laughs> Get in. What a goal. Look at that. Bosh. In off the goal post. The bar applies to more when you're trying to reel something in than when you're grappling it. Look at the top of the screen on the bar shows the credits moving left to right and your mistake deductions moving right to left. I see. Yeah, 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 I get you. Thanks, bud. So I did waste some earlier when I was splicing the glass tonight. Right, let's get some more cut points done. Oh, wrong tool. Reeling is right click. Yeah, I didn't. What's reeling then? So if I go grapple, right click, left click. Oh. I see. Interesting. Oh, you're not coming anymore. <laughs> Scumbag game.
That's the bottom panel gone. Uh, it can also switch to us one, two, three. Oh. Thank you. Why didn't the game tell me that? <laughs> the radio menu is so rubbish. Uh, Big Bad Bond, thank you for three months. Armin, thank you for 28. Sterling, thank you for 20. pulled me toward it then. Also raise a movement option. Yeah, I'll, I'll get there, Poet. I'll have to... I'm starting to get the hang of it. Slowly. Right, so what have we got left? So that's got some blue stuff on the outside with yellow stuff on the inside and then there's like blue beams going through it. I don't know how we're supposed to release the blue beams. This whole chunk here is furnace, so if we can get these bits off the bottom somehow, these bits here. Gonna go in? No, you're just gonna be a scumbag. No, nope, you going in? Yeah, you going in. No, that's cool, poet. I appreciate the tips. Yeah, I'm just getting a little bit overloaded. I think we can shove that entire section into the furnace somehow. Although possibly we'd have to cut it in half to move it. Is what I'm thinking. device map and a brake button to a thumb button. I don't mind the brake button because it's my pinky. It's all the other dancing around, like C. The, the C key for down. I, I find that key annoying. And the radio menu, I prefer that to be on tab, but there's no way to do that. But, because I can just use the hotkeys, I don't need to use the radio menu. No, it's not moving, is it? I don't know, Sergeant Poo. Honestly, I don't think that's attached, is it? Is that all blue? That's all blue. So that can be potentially shunted in there. Oh, there's a bit inside. Was that blue? Yes. Yeah, this thing here, I think, is probably too heavy to move. It looks pretty heavy. 
Maybe we just splice that. I think we'll just cut it like here and try and move it to it. Oh my god. Wait, did that cut it in half? It did not. It did not cut it in half. Yeah, I just lost credits, see? Even though... I definitely lost credits then. Two pieces now? Doesn't feel like it is. That's in two parts now, isn't it? Can we move this? Yay! I think we're moving it now. That's better. Okay, right. Check it's orange. Getting that. Thank you, Black Milk. Thank you for 106 months. You are very much appreciated, and I appreciate your support, Black Milk. And Hawkeye for almost four years. Come on. In you go. Okay. We're getting there. So this has got... Oh, this is tricky, isn't it? Eh? There are no cut points left. Am I supposed to um, break this apart, I wonder? Will that move? That bit will move. That's all blue. I can go in there. Okay, that's that bit done. Music. I just don't want to be in, in my face. All salvage goals, uh, all salvage goals met. So what do I do with this then? Uh, Frosty Forza, thank you for 79 months. Can we pull that out of there? Aha! That's a furnace item. Get off the goalpost. Cool. Raw material process. Credit deposited. And the milestones are what get you most of your upgrade. And I've hit all five milestones, right? See this? Oh my god. <laughs> Bosh. Oh. <laughs> Are these detached or not? See, that bit there is glass, and that's a furnace item. And everything else is blue. So how do I get rid of... How do I get that glass off there? 
Do I just have to cut it with the cutter? Try and, like, cut it off there, maybe? Try and do that with it? That seemed to work. Glass has low value. Yeah, but I don't want to chuck it in the... Uh, I don't mind its value. I just don't want to chuck it in the blue thing. In case I get massively penalised. So that should be mostly blue now. I see what you did there, Fuzzball. Glass can be a bit of a pain, I agree. Why is there anything left? There you go. Should be it, shouldn't it? Why is that piece still floating around, though? Do we just go back to the bay now? Hab time. Woo! <laughs> Did our first ship. So, glass panel structure and door destroyed. That was the penalization bit, wasn't it? 2.3 million credits earned. Nice. Certification review. Level three. Can we buy any stuff? Okay, how do we... I'm done. I'm finished. How do I leave? Clicking, nothing's happening. Good morning, Shipbreaker. This is your daily wake-up call. New sticker unlocked. Mini-me. Have a perfect salvage of over 95%. Reminder, minimum payments are due by 10. What time is it? Looking good, Cutter. Now go ahead and pick another ship. What, we can't buy any upgrades yet? Do we need to save anything? Save and quit. Is it auto auto saving? It also saves after every ship, right? Play terminal. Messages three. Uh, Link's Kiosk is your one-stop shop for all your shipbreaking needs. Dispenses all the items that have any self-respecting shipbreaker wouldn't leave the hab without. You can find the following courtesy of the affiliate suppliers. Oxygen tanks, thrust fuel refills, med kits, tool repair kits. Okay, that implies things break. All of these are available for purchase at market rates and already factor in your 1.7% employee discount Tuesdays only. 1.7% <laughs> on a Tuesday. Brilliant. What's this? Is this a new one? New ship. Heavy industrial goods or hazardous materials. <laughs> what, that sometimes get left behind maybe? Uh, you've cleared hazard level 2. You may begin to encounter fire hazards in the form of fuel or flaming objects. Causing leaks, equipment, or salvage goods to be damaged by fire hazards will result in credit deductions as will damage or destruction of your link spur. Oh, rip. I wonder how you tell if something's a fire hazard. 
Okay. Um, workstation. Equipment. Stickers. I was thinking, I was hoping for something more than a sticker, but, you know, okay. We'll take it. We haven't got any of these. Collect three Helter Smelter stickers. Where's the one that we do have? I thought we got a sticker. So you basically put these on your equipment, is that it? Be careful where you arm your cutter. Mm. I wish you could just filter by things you have, that'd be nice. So no equipment upgrades yet. Helmet? What's this? No idea what's going on. That's a massive debt you've got there. Yep. That's how you start the game. No, that's not a billion. That's a debt of 1.249 trillion. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll have it paid off in no time. Pour myself a cup of tea. Handy when Mrs. Squirrel's not around. Uh, start shift suit. Can we do anything with the suit yet? Posters. Highly pointless. So, what's the kitchen for? No, I don't want the suit. What's this for? The only thing you can change are the posters. Nothing. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed by that. Maybe it'd be nice if you could have a coffee and it'll give you a buff for like 10 minutes. Uh, Mike Heek, thank you for 11 months. Alright, let's do it then. Uh, do I need to pick a ship from somewhere? Alright, let's see. Hazard level 0, hazard level 2. Let's go with the hazard level 2. Let's live dangerously. That looks like a fun one. So, fire hazard, is all, that's what that's saying, I think. Fair enough. Why did the first one say continue ship? Well, that one. Where's it say? Oh, here. I, I guess that's if you didn't quite finish it, maybe. But we've done that one. Claiming a new ship will clear the, cap the salvage bay of your existing ship. There you go. There you go. So it... It would remove that out of the bay now, so no longer can continue, I guess. 